What's coming on guys, Talko back again, hope you're off in today and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. Guys, this is our fourth video on Alone in the Dark. It's been absolutely amazing doing some of the experiences that THQ Nordic have invited me to, especially the Haunted House, the Puzzle Box live stream as well, where we got the amazing amulet as well. Uh, that puzzle box stream was amazing. After finishing the puzzle box, we got invited to the haunted house with 8-Bit Ryan. That experience, man, was so crazy. I really hope you enjoyed the video. It is out now, guys, if you haven't seen it. I will be watching that quickly before we get into the game. Just talking about it a little bit and showing my favourite parts of the video. Make sure you check out the Hero Piece video as well, where a bunch of other creators did the haunted house as well, including PewDiePie, which was insane. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. So, yeah, guys, this was the escape house that me and 8-Bit Ryan did by THQ Nordic, Alone in the Dark. It was really fun. Um, as you can see, it must have been fun because the whole freaking thing was over an hour long that me and uh, Ryan did. They basically strapped us in with GoPros. He told us we had to go and look for the amulet, which I've got right here. We had to go and look for this. And it was so fun. We had to take a boat to get to the house, guys. Let me repeat that. We had to take a boat... To get to the house. So already that's a crazy experience, right? It was so cold as well, by the way. We're, we're on the boat on our way to the house from the groundskeeper. And he was given it like it was so all the actors were amazing. Given us like they knew their role so good. And they were talking about how they were talking about the history of the house and who lived there and weird things happening. The, the, the acting was so good. We got to the house and we didn't know how to get in. We had to climb the scaffolding to get up, man. That was so funny going up to the house. But this part, guys, this part was crazy. This is one of the most best parts of, the, uh, of this whole thing for me. When we got into the house, right, there's this balcony right here, right? And I literally felt like I was in a video game, like a video cutscene was happening in front of me. It was so weird. Dog. Get in there. Get in there. <laughs> I did swear a lot, by the way, which means I was scared. So, that. So I looked down that balcony. Look at the. It's like they knew that we were going to do that. And the monster, the demonic creature was down there, crawling around. You don't see it on the GoPro, but I looked down and you could see the creature walking around. It was like a, literally a video game cutscene. And right then, I thought that the creature was going to climb up to the... To the, to the top floor to try and kill us. Luckily, it didn't do that. We had to solve the puzzles and stuff first to get down to the lower floor where the monster was, where the creature was. Um, I don't want to spoil too much, guys. Link in the description if you want to watch it fully. Yeah, me and Ryan had to solve a bunch of puzzles. Like, this was chained up. We had to find a key to go down to the next floor and then go down to the bottom floor as well with another key. There were so many keys and puzzles and special parts. We had to watch VHS tapes of this man. To, to find where he put the amulet. Um, and then when we got that... Oh, this is my favourite part. This is the best part of the, the everything, guys. Well, just watch this. Is there anything back here? Hang on, one, more, one check back here. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's amazing. That was a, that was a, uh, the, the the best jump scare of the whole video. I wanted to show you guys that. There was in like a doll room for a creepy doll. We had to like smash the doll's head to get the key to get to, the, to get outside. And then when we got that, we went through and we had we wanted this like this, this device where we put the amulet in, and it was basically like um, a device that Ryan's holding here that scares the demon away. Uh, when we go down to the lower floor, which was, a cra again, a crazy experience. We've got the device, and we go down here looking around, and the demon was there! But luckily, we had the device where it moves the demon away. It was crazy. It was, it was, this was set up so perfectly. You can see behind the scenes footage with the links in the description of, of how this was all set up. Like, they turned the flashlights off when, when, when we encountered, uh, um, the, the, the dark man. Um, it was really crazy. And we, at the, this is the finale. Again, I don't want to spoil it, but we had to set up this machine and then defeat the, defeat the demon. Um, it was set up so beautifully. It was really well done. Here's the team. It was so good. I loved it. I loved it. 
I loved it. Like I said, guys, I don't want to spoil too much, so go and watch it yourselves if you haven't watched it yet. Also, a massive thank you to THQ Nordic for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back, guys. So here we go. Alone in the dark. I've got the game. Thank you, THQ Nordic. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. I've been really excited for this, and you guys in the comments have said you've been looking forward to this as well. So if you do want to see a full Let's Play of this, leave a like. Let's go with new game. Let's just do standard difficulty. Let's just do modern. And let's go, guys. I'm looking forward to this. I really am. So, yeah, we know a bit of the lore now with the amulet and the the, the, the monsters um, from doing the puzzle box stream and the haunted house. It's cool how they put everything together with that. I'm looking forward to this, guys. I'm re I really am. A frog! What a great start, guys. 10 out of 10 game with the frog or the toad. I'm... Um, uh, Toad, that, that, there's an alligator! Bruh! Bruh, I'm gonna get run over! Okay, okay. <laughs> what a great, what a great star. What is going on? Poor frog, man. At least we didn't run over the alligator. It's okay. Tell this, he's set in New Orleans, right? Alone in the dark. So here we go. I think this is an introduction to our... So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? Two main characters. He's possessed. Oh, yes. As in the devil? He's possessed? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. Ooh. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Oh, no. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Juicy law, guys. There you go. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. Hmm, okay. He's trying to get help because he's seen this dog man. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to him. Oh. Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Hmm. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. I don't know about that. Here we are. Here we go, guys. It's DeSetto. This is the big house where we've been invited to. Apparently, there's a cult after him. Because he's seen the dark man, and I'm guessing this cult. Not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. This cult worships the dark you man. Part in this. You couldn't get a cab. I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. So this is a d detective helping Emily. And you get to play as both. Did you bring you choo choose Did different you characters. Have? You think it'll actually? You can play as both of these. No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. Okay. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. No, no. Let's just find him first. Yeah, I haven't played a lot of this, guys, to be fair. So here we go, guys. We get to pick who we are going to be playing as. And I'm going to go with Edward Carnby because I love David Arbor um, from Stranger Things. Uh, great actor. Uh, Jodie Comer as well, people love. So two great actors. Um, you know, and and this is the thing. If I really enjoy this game and I, I really enjoyed the Let's Play of Edward Carmey, I can go back and play as Emily Hartwood as well. So, yeah, we're going to go with Edward Carmey, guys, because when we did the puzzle box, I got his gun, his detective badge and everything. So let's do it. I'm excited. Cool intro, by the way. Oh, bye, Emily. <laughs> Off you go. So, see, Emily's going into the house that way. 
Hello? Am I going a different way? Hello? It looks abandoned. It can't be. There has to be someone around. Oh, I'm going... Wait here. I'll go around back. See? So it's, it's completely different if you, who you play as. Which I think is really cool. Really fun. Yeah, so Emily's going to go that way, but we're not playing as her. But we're going in the basement. Chapter one. Oh, God. So we've got to find Jeremy, guys. I don't know where he's going to be. I don't know if he's going to be in the basement, though, to be honest. Here we go, guys. Let's go and have a look around and explore. Objectives. Look for a way inside the house. Nice car, Jeremy. Scribble, scribble, scribble. So what is that? Oh, it's his engine. He's trying to fix up his engine, right? I do have a gun, by the way, so I am armed. That's good. What is this? Is that a flashlight? Now, what do we got here? Oh, a flash... Oh, that is a flashlight. <laughs> oh, a kitchen garden key. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Switch light on and on. That's perfect. I do need that, guys. So you guys see a little bit better. This game can be quite dark. Which makes it even... This is a horror game, by the way. If you didn't watch the live stream um, a couple of weeks ago, it is a horror game. Just so you know. And some of the creatures are absolutely terrifying. Who was that? Um, I hope that's you, Jeremy. Surely there's not going to be... Any monsters around here? I hear a creature or something. He's in the shed. Nah, I'm not getting in there. A chain door. Do we need to find a key for that shed? What's this statue over here? Hello. You not got anything for me? No, just some bird seed. Or oh, what's this? <gasps> yeah. Hmm. What is that? It's like a flask or something. So we need a rope. Yeah, it's, it's, it's got some puzzles in this, guys, which I really like. All right, guys, let's go in this greenhouse or something. So I'm looking for a rope. Hello, Mr. Crow. Goodbye, Mr. Crow. Oh, my God, it's a massive tree. Now, this place is fancy, man. Desetto. Very fancy. I like it. What is this? Oh, I've got the key. Housekeeper's key. Housekeeper's key. Say that five times. One big tree to fit inside a conservatory. Yeah, and that tree's whispering to me. A whispering tree. Huh? What? Yeah, I hear that too, Edward. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, but that that tree's definitely whispering to me. Um. Okay. Let, let's pretend that didn't happen. Is this key for this? Housekeeper's key. Okay. So we can go in here. Hold on, let me, let's go over here first. I want to double check I've found everything. All right. Can I go up here or is this locked? Oh, what's this? Ammo? Pistol bullets? Thank you, I need those. I'll probably need them. That's blocked off. Can I go up here? Blocked off by plant pots. Curse you. All right, well, let's keep going then. I think we'll find some stuff around here. Uh, find the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. What was the other stuff that I found, bro? What is that? Don't oh, health. Uh, maybe we'll have to go back to that garden area in the future. I don't know, though. Hello. The family Bible. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. Who is this? It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures oh. of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had... This is crazy. So feel free, guys, to pause the video and have a read. I am so grateful for the words you gave, Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. Sacred sand, black cat oil, and devil's shoe strings. A goat without horns. Okay. Well, that's great. Very interesting. 
yeah, you guys feel free to pause the video and stuff if you want to read that. I can only play an hour, so I want to try and get as much in as I can for the video. I'm in like a kitchen area. Guys, this place is huge. Oh, more health. Thank you very much. Somebody's bumping around upstairs. Oh, more. I don't know why there's ammo in the fridge, guys, but you know, there's ammo in the fridge. Oh, some meat as well. Oh, there's a pig. Lovely. More health as well. Guys, prepping with health and everything. Guys, this, this meat looks fresh, man. So, I don't know what's going on around here, but the meat is definitely fresh. So, Jeremy must be around, surely, if it's fresh still. Got lots of pistol ammo now, which is good. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Let's go and let Emily in. It's down here, though. Oh, God. What's down here? What is this? Oh, it's a generator room. Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working, after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Oh. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up, and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Mr. Waits. Oh no! Oh, there's the plate. Look. Huh. Oh, can I move these around? Ow! Hmm. Oh, do I use my mouse for these? No. I think I need to find the other pieces for this. Cause right now I can't go through. Hold on. What's this? More ammo. I think there's some pieces I need to find. Huh. It won't let me move this around or anything, mm -hmm. so we'll come back to that. Anything over here? Oh, upstairs. I think I need pieces. It wouldn't let me move it around, guys. It looked like I needed extra pieces for that. Now we're in the house. I do feel like some of this stuff is some stuff that you go back to. Oh, God. Oh, and there's a rat as well. Okay. Well, there's rats in the... What's this? The set of floor plans. Okay, so we've got the map of the house, which is huge. Okay. The old plantation. And find the floor. Emily's inside. Okay, got it. Oh, the piazza key. And a box. Oh, this work? No, locked medicine box. Don't have that. What about this one? More meds. Another book. Lottie's Diary. There's a lot of people who work all day looking for Jay. Working here. But the company didn't send a new oh. So the box is just We need the pain there. meds. The grand parlor. Oh, yes. We've got to find the key in the grand parlor to open that medicine box. So yeah, we, it's 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 a game where you um exploring everywhere. Yeah, you're exploring, finding things and going back to rooms. Locked door. No, don't have the library key. So, yeah. Oh, here we go. We've opened this one. This is fun, man. I'm kind of getting Resident, Resident Evil vibes with this. You know, you're in a massive house and you're finding things to go back to. Like puzzles and plates. Oh, look at this. Fancy. Guys, this, this house is so fancy. It really is. I'm just looking around and having a, having the best time ever. Oh, I, rem I swear I rem remember playing this part, actually. The Great Depression. Oh. President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods oh. in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street... Oh, my God, market, there's so much. <laughs> there's so much. You guys can have a read of it. Feel free. Well, there's so much to read. What's this? Oh, a rubber stamp. Oh, it's a collectible. Okay. Oh, my God. There's so many sets to get. That is crazy. We got two of those. Ring the bell. Hello. Hello. So lonely, guys. Locked. Hello. Anybody around? Apart from the... Oh, that's budge. Not budgeable. Okay. Okay. Got a clock here as well. A TikTok. All right, guys. 
Oh, you know what, guys? I'm actually finding this really fun. And if it's a game where, like, you know, you have to go around and collect things. Oh. Oh, is Emily here? Hey, Emily! What are you doing? Oh. Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. Sorry. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? Where did these all she come from? Hartwood glue, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. I wonder if these are ghosts. He's available how? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. We played as her and my first playthrough, guys. Oh, man again, Miss Hotwood. My name's Edward Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee, keep your eyes on the child. And you two. Please leave immediately. I wonder if they are ghosts. Don't cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. We'll find him. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please come back tomorrow. No way. Uh, no, we'll just wait in this room. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> it's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. <laughs> in the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. Oh, God. Oh, my God. What is that? That massive clock thing. All right. Here we are. Let's look around. See if we can dig up any clues. Yeah, let's have a look around. Okay. Right. Search Jeremy, Je Jeremy's, Jeremy's room. Okay, there's a locked box here, guys. Surely we can move this around. We've got to find a, a block first. It's not letting me move it. The commonplace Every book. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room. The dark man. Count me days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Oh, God. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Perosi? Perosi? From the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. This is Jeremy, by the way. Struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signor. Mm. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? Okay. Oh, that's the toil. Got it. There we go. I needed that. The box here. No. Let's use the tile first. That might give us the key. All right. Let's move around this. Okay. Well, can I pick these up? Oh, I'll just swap them around. Okay. Guys, it's the tree, right? This is death. This looks like the tree. The whispering tree. Oh, hello. What is this? Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? This one? I love the music as well, by the way. Now, would it kill the guy to throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. <laughs> it's not that bad. My room's worse. 
What is this? Do -do -do. Look, I like noir. Oh, wow. Oh. That's striking. Is that Jeremy? I this one. Guys, he's holding the talisman. He's holding the talisman that I've got. Right there, it's there, look! So is that Jeremy? Oh, God. Oh. Oh. That messed hey, with Ed. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Oh, God. That's messed with his head a little bit. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. Uh-oh. Emily? Oh, no. Oh, no. What the hell is going on? Where am I? <gasps> what the heck? Oh, so... What? Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, so... I looked at that, right? And I must have just... I looked at the, the, the painting. And now I'm just like freaking in a... The other realm or something. Whatever you call it. Is this where all the monsters are and stuff? Oh, God. It's... Oh, no. It's... Oh, it is. It's where the monsters are, guys. It's where the monsters are. I don't like this. Let's go back. Let's go and sleep and wake up and we'll be happy. Yep, guys, this is it. This is it. So, yeah, we're, this is, like, where all the monsters are and stuff. Like, this... Well, I'm terrible. Oh, my God. It's the swamp people. Ah, oh, God, it's a reload. Oh, God, I'm so bad. Ow. Bro, relax. You are using all my ammo. Oh, guys, we've met these monsters in the live stream. And they they are aggressive and difficult. Oh, my God. We called them swampy people. Swamp, swamp zombies. The dog barking. Oh, my God. So, already our brain is playing tricks on us. So we're gonna go to the corner store. What is this? Oh, I got a brick. I don't need to use it yet, but I'll throw it anyway. <laughs> Hello? Any more zombies? Is this the corner store? Oh, hello. Oh, some, some, oh, I've got health from a, a trash can. This looks like the corner shop, right? Hello? Johnny the Conqueror, Roots and Medicine. I hope there's somebody in here. Please. Please help me. Anybody? Oh, hello. <gasps> Don't let them get inside, Carl Bear. They're not the good guy. Are you... Is this your store? There are no owners here. We both strangers in Jeremy's store. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog, man. <gasps> Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. Oh. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth to die. Oh, no. You were thinking, man, compare. No, not if I can help it. You know. I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. Yeah. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compare. Yeah, the Mama Loa. Mama yeah, Loa. Take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. So it's... Thanks. Kind of like... I'll have a look. It's like Silent Hill then or something. Like we're, we're, we're trapped in like Jeremy's or well, the Dark Man's uh, 
void or something? Thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate that. I wonder if Emily's in here as well now, too. Alright, guys. So, let's go and see Mom. Was it Mama Loa? Down the street somewhere? Oh, I don't, I don't really know. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I've got a pipe. Okay. Ah! Get away from me! Get away from me! <laughs> well, that worked. That worked better than the gun, to be honest. Oh, is this a bell that you can alert? Come on, little guy! Oh, no, you got the other way. <laughs> I can throw bricks and stuff. Oh, here he is. Look at this creature, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! It broke! But so did he. With his maggoty torso and bony legs. All right. Well, it's something else. Oh, those lights are so bright, man. All right, let's keep going. To find the store. Oh, in here, maybe? I'd love some ammo. Oh, here we go. We made it. Do I really want to go down here, though? You know what? This place looks absolutely amazing. It really does. It looks great. What the heck is this? Um, you just stay up there, buddy. Wow. What? What is going on here? What is going... Well, I don't even want to know what those are. Yeah, you, you stay up... Oh, my God! Wow. Get some headshots, guys. <laughs> oh, guys, we need to find another pipe right now. I'm really low on ammo. I don't want to keep dealing with these freaking creatures, bro. These maggots and swamp people. But I'm going to have to, because one's right here. Bro, you are so bullied. Proof! Come here, maggot! Okay, I eventually got him. Oh, he's got so much health! Ah! I'm all out of bullets. Oh my god, I've got no ammo left. Oh! Juju! Oh my god, how many. Guys, who's been lighting all these candles, man? You'd be here all night! Oh! No, I don't want a brick. I want a weapon. Please, somebody be in here. Oh my God! Nice this place. It's oh. Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Oh. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. <gasps> that is the talisman. It's the <gasps> talisman, like the one in the painting. Guys, we got it. We got the talisman. There we go. <gasps> An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than 100 years old. Wow. Use the talisman to get back to Deceto. Oh, that's what we do. Okay. We can't go in here yet, guys. It's not letting me. So we just go back to Deceto? I think it's meant for the talisman. So yeah, it is like a different... Oh, hold on. I think it needs numbers. Numbers. Like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Oh, I'll have a look. Um, which one was it? Um, three five eight. Three five eight. So go to the top. So it's three. Then five. Where is five? Three four. There's not a five. Um, it must be there. Three, five, eight. 
Oh, it might be the arrow. Oh, I'm being stupid, guys. There's freaking numbers on the sides. I've got it the wrong way round. Three. Sorry, guys. There we go. <laughs> it's showing something. A place? A painting. Where is that? Right there. Oh, there we go. And then we can go in, and then we're back to reality. That's really cool. Detective. <gasps> I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. <laughs> I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray. Dr. Gray. That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Um, where, where was I? To find Jeremy Hartwood. <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short? Visit? What are the swamp monsters? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, Detective? Anything brandy? Oh, mm. you do belong in the French quarters, Detective. Armagnac or cognac? Cognac, yes, please. Good, cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about you? Mm. Do you trust this guy? I Do you trust him? Details about his condition, doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure, but he is crazy, and he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try mm, this. Yummy, yummy. Probably poison. Oh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Mm. Okay. What can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well... Let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm yeah, sorry. where is he? I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderly. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Well, we know he's yeah, got to be in that void place. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, <gasps> excellent. So your investigation is already underway. There's the talisman. I'm going to go. But I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Bye. Guys, you think you know... Do you guys think... He knows what's going on. Huh? Do you think he knows what's going on? I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, we're back here. The nice clock I mentioned. The TikTok. I wonder if Emily... Detective Carnby, how did you... Hey! Where did you go? Oh, she didn't know. I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain. Paranormal, even. Detective, I really need you to get yourself... Oh, no, she alone. doesn't know. Yeah, I'll figure it out. So she hasn't been there yet. You want to come see Dr. Gray? No. I want to, I want to try something out. With this talisman, I think I can follow Jeremy, the place he mentioned in the book. 
What was the name? Do you remember something Spanish? T Taroea. Yeah, that's where I need to go. Detective? Uh are you gonna be all right? <laughs> I'm yeah. going to be. Of course. <laughs> Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. Okay, guys. I'm really enjoying this. Not gonna lie. I'm really enjoying this. So, find the astronomical clock. The the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Teroea. That's what I mean. If he can do it. So can I. I just need to figure out how the talisman works. Okay. Oh my god, what is going on? So th there's a big clock at the front, guys, isn't there? There's this massive clock. I think this is important. It's stained. Looks like some kind of rot. Rot. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about oh. the commonplace book. Huh. Looks like uh, the plate that held the talisman in the seance room. But it's broken. Missing some pieces. Missing some pieces. I wonder if this is it that I've got. This is what I use to go back and forth. I mean... Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I think that is the... This is the astronomical clock. Yeah. So this is what we're probably going to use to go back and forth. So we've, we've been to the boiler room. We went there before. We can't go anywhere yet. I need to find some of these pieces. Maybe maybe they're in the boiler room. Oh, hello. Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. No. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. You were just with her! No, 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 no. Uh, she's just hiding somewhere. We can't have a rat just like that running around unchecked. So we know Grace yeah, just go well, into the um, well, let me know the other world. Her. I'll be around. Uh, I'll keep an eye out for your man, Jeremy. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. Okay. Bye bye. Strange man. So we're gonna look for Grace now as well. Is that on our on our objective? Okay. That's locked. What is this? Emily is here. Emily is here. Did Grace draw this? Okay, that's strange. All right, let's keep going and looking around. Whose room's this? Okay. A fountain pen. Thank you very much. I might need that, guys. You never know. And nothing. All right, so these are all the different rooms where Grace is and the other guy who was just here. That's locked. Mm. And that's locked. All right, guys. Let's go to the boiler room then. Oh, this is unlockable apparently in here. Oh, I've got a key for this now. Oh, there we go. What is in here that will help us? Repairing the boiler. So you notice in the boiler room. You should know Mr. Chance won't be coming Oh, there's back. a valve. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam. Okay. A valve in the wine cellar. Got it. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is DeSetto's chief doctor. Oh, look, these Accounting are all the... And all... Okay, these are all the people here. Malcolm, Ruth, Jeremy, Jean, uh, his staff, Elisabetta. Grace, Cassandra. All right. We know everybody who's in here at the moment. The room key. Thank you very much. Got a room key. Oh, there's a safe in there's here, guys. No way I can get into this thing. Better leave it alone. Got it. All right. What is this? Oh, more collectibles. Patient records. All right. 
Oh, uh, guys, look, law. You guys feel free to read, Grace. Have a look. Malcolm. Elizabetta. Oh, we're going in her room, I think. Got the room number six key. Oh, that's it. There you go, guys. Except for Jeremy. All right. Broken oh, plates. plates on the boiler and the clock. <gasps> they have been sabotaged, and I oh. think I know who did it. They have something to do. Tell with Lottie to take a look at the well. Seen... Well, we, we we went to the well, and we did see those guys. See. We did see those. See, already there's a lot of stuff that we've got to be doing. I mean, this is all for the boiler as well, which is pretty crazy. Oh, I'm here. Oh, this is the office. No, we don't want to go this way. So I've got the room six key. I've got to go to the wine cellar. Um, okay, let's go. Let's uh, let's go to the cellar first. I think this is where the boiler was, and I think this is also where the wine cellar is. Hello. Oh, here we go. Apparently, there's a valve in here that I can use to fix the boiler. Valve anywhere? Oh, what's this? A ticket. Uh, I wanted a valve, but... Oh, it's locked. Oh, uh, it's going to be in there, guys. All right. Oh, hello. I'm in a kitchen. Somebody's cooking up some up. Hello? Smells good. Hmm. Oh. Hello? I swear I just heard a cat. What are you doing in oh. my kitchen? I assure you. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I promise I didn't, you. I, Mr. Hartwood is nowhere near my for... kitchen and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I kick you out to... of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Is she a crazy cat lady or something? Or is she killing cats? All right, well, now we can't go in there. That's locked. So that's great. <laughs> oh, no. Well, let's go to floor six, guys. We've got room six. Oh, I just used a key. Hello? Oh, my God. This is fancy. Look at this. Guys, I just want to sit here and just... Oh, wow. It's beautiful. This game is really pretty. Hmm. Lost plantations of Louisiana. Plantations? Oh, God, this is a lot, guys. Here you go. Oh, okay. This house was... The plantations? Empty mansion of DeSetto still stands. All right. Yeah, like I said, guys, you feel free to pause the video and have a read. You're more than welcome to. <gasps> I would like that shotgun, please. Guys, it smashed that window. Hello? Oh, no! Hey! What is going on? Oh, my God, I'm back here. That is not very fair. Oh, God. Um, um, help me. What is going on, guys? You're not allowed to do that. What is this? What is this? A bolt cutter. Giving me right now. You can't do that to me. I didn't use the freaking talisman. Amulet. Oh, my God. That reflection scared me then. Get me out of here, please! Oh my god! Well, that's not good. What happened? Everything's normal. Again? Guys, I really do think we're gonna go insane. Well, this is where the plate was. Oh, hello. A mummified cat. Oh, oh, we need to add something to this. Okay. 
And that's to get the broken plate. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Guys, why was there a mummified cat? Guys, I'm telling you, that maid... That maid is killing cats. And putting them in the soup. All right, guys. We're going to go to the room number six. And then we'll probably end it there. This one. Here we go. Who is going to be in here? Nobody, but it... How eccentric. It's a very nice room. What are oh. these symbols? Looks like alchemy or star uh, Like Omega. All right, we'll figure that out. I must return. Oh, it's Jeremy. I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can oh. find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Oh, God. These doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. Oil rig? I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Okay. Oh, what are these? Oh. Things got some grim looking rot on them. Why is this Brian not have any? Okay. Complete the shape with the rot on the paintings. Oh, okay. Just turn them around with the ones that have rot on them. I got it. There we go. Hmm. What did that do though? Oh, hello. What's this? It's like a the artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. Must have been 15 years or more now. Okay, 175. Oh, I get it. William, Franklin, and Nora. William, Franklin, Nora. So the code is... 2... 9... 4... Q94. You will need to remember how to get uh, them out again. They are locked up for good reason. I am yeah. sure she is still able to whisper the. 294. Answer. Okay, I get it. Two. So it's Pisces. Burn soon enough. That black goat will Pisces, Taurus, to and Libra. Pisces, Taurus, and Libra. Taurus, is that Libra? I'll have a look again, guys. Don't worry. Uh, where are we? Pisces. Oh, it's that one. Taurus. Oh, it's the that one. Uh, Pisces, Taurus, and Libra. It's like Omega. So it's this one. Then this one. Then... This one? I oh, this right. Hold on. Oh, it's the other way around, guys. Sorry. So it's Libra, then Taurus here. Hey, there we go. Got it. And we got one of the plates. Ooh. There we go. We did it. Oh, God. Now I'm scared. Where's the nice music gone? Oh no, we're back here. Oh my god, giant cockroaches. Eggy ceilings. Slimy walls. Oh my god. And they smell. Let's get out of here right now. Run! Ow! What just hurt me? Oh my god. Run, run, run. Oh god. Um, oh, oh my god, that was horrible. That was horrible. Get me out of here right now. All right, we've got another piece, guys. What the hell is going on? We've got another piece. So we need one more piece now, and we're done. And that is the boiler room, right? Yeah, the broken plate's in the well, but we need to sort out the boiler room. But to get the boiler room, we need to go in the wine cellar, but the wine cellar's locked. So we use the bolt cutter now, actually. Bolt cutter might just 
might work. Guys, we could keep playing this for ages, but I'm going to end it there. I'm sorry, I left it on a cliffhanger. We just need the last piece to put into the clock, and I'm guessing we... When we've done that, we can get to the other world, like, whenever we want or something. But that was really fun. That was an absolute pleasure to play. THQ Nordic, thank you so much for the opportunity. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. And like I said, if you guys want me to finish Edward's story, please leave a like. And I'll carry on if you guys want to see it. Or you guys can play it yourselves. Alone in the Dark is out right now. All of the links will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.